after you create a pivot table, you might need to protect the worksheet that it's on to keep people from either changing the pivot table or to protect other information that's on the worksheet. In this worksheet, we have a blue colored cell where users can select a county from a drop down list. And there's a formula in the cell beside that. You can see uses a get pivot data formula to pull data from the pivot table. So in this case, we would like to protect the worksheet, let people make a change to this cell, but not make any other changes on the worksheet. So before we protect anything, we're going to have to make sure that this cell is unlocked so they can make changes. So with that cell selected, I go up to the Home tab on the ribbon, and in the Cells group, click Format, and just check to see the lock cell setting. So here I can see that it is on, so if I click, next time I look, I can see that it's, it's off now. So that cell is not locked. The cell beside it, I want to make sure that is locked. Everything's locked by default. And so that one is still locked. So after I protect the sheet, users can change this, but not this. So now I'll go up to the ribbon and on the review tab, I'll click protect sheet. And in here, I can set the different options for what the users will be able to do. So I'd like them to be able to select any cell they want on the worksheet, whether it's locked or unlocked. I don't want them to be able to insert columns or delete rows or any of these other things. And I don't want them to be able to change the pivot table report, so I'm leaving that unchecked. And I'll click OK. I'm not going to enter a password. And now I can come up here and select, but I can't type. If I type there, I get an error message. And in the pivot table, I can still see the drop down arrows, but can't change any of the values.